when I was five years old in the year 2000, I was able to see and witness my father graduate from boot camp. And from that point, I really just wanted to be a Marine. I loved it. I loved seeing my dad, you know, getting ready, getting freaking his uniforms done. Like, I thought that was really awesome. I loved the uniform. I love what the Marine Corps stand for when my father started teaching me growing up, you know, he taught me on the, the traditions, the history, what the Marine Corps means, you know, and 17 years later, now I'm graduated from boot camp in the year 2017, and I don't regret it. It's awesome. The camaraderie is, it's out of this world, guys. Like, you'll never see this camaraderie anywhere. You know, I've talked to other people in different services and stuff, and they don't have it. They don't. The Marine Corps does. The Marine Corps brings a lot of people from different cultures, uh, different, how do you say it? Every Marine here comes from different families, you know, they come from hardship, they come from good, sh from good lives, they come from, mainly we're, just, we're the weirdos of society and somehow the Marine Corps brings us together and just makes us badass. So growing up, it's always been about I want to be a Marine, I want to be a Marine. Then high school came around, and I'm getting ready to graduate, and it's time. It's time to take it serious, and my father told me, before you join, try to at least do some college. See if you like it. If you don't, then join the Marine Corps. But it was like, I've seen it, I've been through it. You know, I just want you to be able to have different opportunities and take different roads instead of just the same old road that he took so i did i went to a technical college learned about automotive and diesel and one year later i still wanted to be in the marine corps and one of my buddies calls me he's like hey you want to go to you know we should go to boot camp together and i was like okay so we we uh we started working out every day we talked to recruiters we had a date which was in November of 2016. And Marine Corps just never went away for me. I had to. And I don't regret it now. I really don't. You guys, recently I took a leadership class in Marine Corps. Definitely learned a lot. I think the biggest thing I learned was taking the initiative. For all you folks, I know we all have goals for 2018. Some of us want to bodies to get in shape some of us want to cut down on certain things and I think the biggest thing to get to that goal is taking the initiative not just talking about it but doing it so if you guys ever like want to join the military want to finally get to the gym or whatever take the initiative don't just talk show it okay life is too short show it you only get one so don't be lazy so guys not just initiative but you have to also take that mental and physical courage mental courage meaning by you wanting to do it mentally like this is what I want I'm gonna just go ahead like if you want to ask a girl you gotta take the mental courage to say I'm gonna talk to her okay I want to talk to her I want to present myself blah 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 after that you have to take the physical courage whether it's to go talk to her whether it's to send her a message whether it's some sort of contact Okay, by doing that, you're also taking the initiative. So, don't be afraid, guys. With saying that, guys, boot camp, many, many will say it was easy. Many will say it was hard. Everything, every, boot camp is one of those things where you get everybody's different. Uh, it's, but it's definitely mentally and physically demanding. It's definitely going to have you every day frustrated, every day. It's an obstacle, guys. But... The point of it is to kind of like break you down, they shave your head, they take everything from you. No phones, no nothing. You literally start from zero. They will break you down. They will break exactly like who you are and everything. You will get to a point where you want to kill yourself, but it's, it's, it's for a plan, okay? Now, once they break you and everything, they definitely try to build you up. They try to man you up. For women, it's, you know, turning you into a woman, but... It's it's not 
it's not where it's like, oh my God, it's scary or nothing. It's just, it's a big growing and a step up thing for for us and, and everything, you know. I thought I was a man and, and I, you know, I thought I was good. But when I went to boot camp, it broke me, guys. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. It broke me. I was literally to the point where I didn't even know what the fuck I was doing, why or what. But slowly they were building you up. They were giving you... They were giving you stuff every day that you, you, you appreciated, okay? They would give you sometimes more time to eat, or they'll give you time to write letters and stuff like that. You appreciate the small things. And so now in life, you know, don't take anything for granted, guys. It could easily be taken from you. So if you got the fancy truck, if you got the fancy, you know, you got money or whatever, they ain't got nothing, guys. It's what's in here. Some of you will say, oh, those guys who go to the military are just dumb. You know, they didn't have the brains to go to college or do anything else with their life. So, military was the only thing they had. You don't know, okay? Everybody has their opinion, so I'm not saying you're wrong or nothing, but you just have to be able to open your eyes and see both sides of the story. You know, I went to college, so what can you say? Uh, but guys, you know, a lot of us join because of tradition, you know, family or stuff. Some of us joined because we literally didn't have nothing, you know. And the military was just something that, you know, figured that they can get something out of it. Some of them get family out of it. Some of them, you know, it turns, it changes their eye perspective in life. So everybody has their different reasons. Mine obviously was traditional, so I wanted to follow my father's footsteps on that. But you guys, okay, once you become a Marine and everything, you know, you, you get to your unit and stuff. That, you know, though, there's this thing that we do in the Marine Corps, we take online courses. We have math, we have reading, we have spelling, we have, you know, all kinds of different classes, like thousands of classes that we can take, okay? It's because the more educated the military is, the more, you know, more knowledge and more combat readiness will be. So we're not dumb, okay? We're every day pushed and told to take classes because it helps us overall so you got to see both sides of the story guys okay thing guys if you have goals and you want to do something different this year do it okay don't procrastinate don't nothing take the initiative get it done day by day okay if you have to take slow take it slow but get it done guys don't procrastinate because you only get one life guys and you don't want to be like, oh, I regret this, I didn't do that, or didn't do this. Last thing you want to do is regret stuff. So just do it. Do it, and if you hate it, whatever. But at the end of the day, you, you, you didn't have to say, I regret it. So take the initiative, guys. Get things done. Don't be scared. You only get one life. So enjoy it. Live to the fullest. So don't be scared, guys. All right? See you later.